So uh, if you're doing the Course in Miracles and you're getting the thought like nothing's happening and, and you want your fix, and my, my foot's, <laughs> foot's still hurting, <laughs> uh, then um, that, that, that's the thing. I mean, I think in all spiritual groups, if you've been to them a while, other people notice the difference in you uh, before. So also the ego has a vested interest in not letting you notice all the miracles that you're having and just sort of putting things uh, that haven't yet been uh, resolved in, in your face as a form of it trying to get you off the spiritual path. It's like, I've been doing this stuff, it doesn't work. And yet, um, and yet, uh, if you sort of focus, if you try to do something like a gratitude list on how it is working in your life and all the instances where it probably has worked, then you probably find it is working. Um, this is a thing of like people falling off the wagon. Um, and it's a thing, I mean, I often share for people who feel like something's not doing anything, and, and, you, and I kind of know that it is doing a ton for them, is the thing of um, uh, when you stop doing it, you'll find your life will become more unmanageable. And then you realize it was actually doing a lot. So um, the, the stuff as well, you can't, you know, like, for example, if you're doing the Course in Miracles, there's probably lots of miracles happening which you're not noticing. If your toe's really hurting or something, your foot's really hurting, and you just want the foot to be gone. Okay, well, there's a thing. Okay, I'm doing the Course in Miracles. I can't see any miracles, and my foot's still hurting. Well, the thing is, there might be loads of miracles. And if your foot's still hurting, okay, how do you respond to that? Your ego's saying, my foot's hurting, it's not working. Uh, why don't you chuck it in? Because if it would work, then my foot wouldn't hurt. Well, first of all, if your foot had got healed, it'd probably be talking about something else, like, um, you know, you haven't got enough money, so it's not working, or whatever it wants to choose to go on about. So then um, uh, to disappear something with the Course in Miracles, you have to make it meaningless. So if you don't, if you want your foot to be healed, that wanting is a, is a, a grievance, it's a resentment, it's a fighting against the foot, just allowing the uh, sensations to be there and not being going into a dialogue of resistance against it. So what you resist persists. So, okay, my foot's hurting, so I need to pray for a miracle to see my thoughts about the foot differently. I cancel my interest in obsessing about my foot. Um, you almost look like getting the opposite uh, thing of it, it's okay to allow the foot to hurt because that way you're not resisting it um, and giving attention to it. So you start to detach from it and start to you let the oxygen and the spiritual healing get to your foot. So it's like when there is when the ego is going, I need my foot to heal now. I'm angry that my foot hasn't healed yet. And, uh, you know, this stuff doesn't work. Uh, it seems like uh, when will the foot pain go away? That all that dialogue is cutting off the light and the miracle. So you gotta. So you do the reverse. You know, it's like you gotta cancel all the thoughts. Like I've got a bad foot. I cancel my belief. I've got a bad foot. I cancel my resentment that I want the foot to be be resolved now, or it hasn't been resolved now. So you get rid of the thoughts around it, and then you're starting to accept that. And then uh, you, it's okay if the foot, it does hurt. So by that opposite attitude, uh, you let go of the resistance and the ego, um, uh, the ego sort of wanting it to be changed its own way. And usually in my experience is there's a greater chance of the foot starting to heal. And even if it doesn't heal, you'll notice that when you let go of something, you tend not to notice it anyway. It's like one person will want a really neat and tidy house and will be really in their head until their house is, is tidy. But there's another level, which is another person will be okay whether the house is tidy or not and not notice it, clean house or not. Same thing with a foot. If you let go of all your stuff around a foot, whether it hurts or not, you still don't notice it. It's like it hardly you hardly notice it because it's not really anything that's worth noticing. Um, so um, People have had, you know, some people will have had experiences of that where they have stuff which is quite bad, but they don't notice it. And to another person, they think, I couldn't bear that. But uh, to, to you, it's like, well, that's right. I hardly noticed that, that that's a problem. Okay, let's stop that.